Hello friends and welcome to infotainment. Well, here we'll see how to break a continuous table in MS Word. That is, as you can see, this is a continuous table. I have made like three pages of table of 55 employees. So I want to edit this table and arrange uh, in a separate page. As you can see, while uh, changing the up and down margins, something happened. That is the heading of the second table or second page table had come up. So I what I want is if this table is cut or if it's if this table is broken into three tables which I can manage individually then my purpose is solved. So you can see if I if this is my second page table if I if I just resize this column you can see all the columns in like three pages are resized. So any page if I resize my column then all these co columns are resized. So I don't want this. So what I do here is you can simply go here. I want this to come down. The wrong way is to hit the enter button and uh, just expand this row size. Wait for the bottom column to come down. But this is the wrong way to do because unnecessarily this column is looking bigger and quite unprofessional. So what you can do here is I just put undo here. You can simply click here and then go to insert and go to page break so once you go for page break it automatically comes down and here a break of your page happens so as you can see now this second page table is completely different from first page if i go on resizing this margins or uh, table boundaries you can see only it is happening in the second table it has been completely disconnected from the formatting or editing of first table you can see I can do it individually okay so the same thing once again I repeat this is a continuous table so for example once again I put here my cursor this heading and go for insert and insert page break you can see it has come down and it has been separated from the second page earlier you can see if uh, I press ctrl z this two table are still connected but if I want to disconnect is I simply put I should simply put my cursor here and go for page break once I do that this table is again broken and the third page table is also completely became completely independent from rest of the tables so this is how easy it is to uh, separate a continuous table what happens is when we have a continuous table of 10 pages 20 pages or more than three to four pages it becomes very difficult for us to uh, manage for example if the name is very long in this page then it should not change in all other pages as well so if at all we have a continuous table then we can break it uh, bring down any rows we want just put the cursor on that row and give a page break then you can go for the second table so for example, if I go on putting my tabs here, it will go on to the third table. Uh, let me copy this again. Sorry. Just for this video, you can see this is my fourth page table, but it is connected to the third page table. So here what happens, I want to keep this Josh as it is in my fourth table i don't want any other row to come down so what i would do is i'll just put my cursor here i don't want any row to come down as i had shown you before for the very purpose of heading row but i just want i don't want anything to change just i want to delink it from the previous page table so what i'll do is just put my cursor here at the josh and give a page break so what will happen is it will come down so you can start editing it as you can see the row is completely different and then press delete as you can see the rows are working quite differently from the separate page so this is how you can uh, separate a continuous table to individual ones so as you can see i have separated it from four page table to individual one one page four times in a word word file so friend that's it i hope you learned something useful if you like this video please hit the like button and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel infotainment for getting more of such technical videos so till then keep watching infotainment see you again see you soon thank you